I hope that doesn't mean I don't have any more Kuban energy to use to cook up things. Let's go into my inventory here. Have that rose gerbil. It's gonna make me feel better. Okay. Oh, I got some cases, didn't I? Yeah. Didn't we all miss orgasmic eating sounds? Let's open our cases. There are several different types of cases. Weapon, gear, material cases. They can contain a variety of items according to case type and rarity. To open a case you have obtained, see what's inside. Access Virgil at 9. Select open case. That's what I was just doing. I don't know why you wouldn't ever open all of them, but... What did we get? So many things. We got titanium. Dribble's extremely tasty. Oh, yeah. Still need some dang water. Oh, I can make some grilled Nubian. Right, because I hunted them all out, all down. Don't have anything else right now, though. Don't have any stews because I don't know how to make stews yet. I don't have anything. Oh, I do have some things in here. Uh, some styptic antidote. Don't have anything yummy in there, though. Yeah, I don't have any food and drink at the storehouse. That's all on me. And there's not a lot of it. I got. Things spoil too. It's a feature. Now let's see. Oh, there's more excitement to be found. Oh, there's a memory board detected over here, but wasn't that in the dust? Didn't we find out this was the edge of the dust? This is the game telling me I need to fix this uh, oxygen tank. Here we go, everybody. You know it's important. I hate to see that oxygen tank go, but I love to watch it leave. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Hooray! Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. I'm getting more and more thirsty However, while we go through the tank this. Is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. 
If you're low on oxygen, you can use Kuban energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid. I mean, you can, but why would you? You can convert Kuban energy to oxygen as long as you have sufficient Kuban energy. The effectiveness of the conversion decreases. And you also break your air tank that way. Efficiency level can be reset to its regular value by returning to the base camp and repairing the tank. Oh, that's what a normal fence is. I'm going to totally go accept the weekly challenge of crafting some normal fences. Because I believe that was one of them. Yeah, I'm totally doing that. Fanny packs, so last year, no way man, they're the future. Did it. Give me my money. Achoo! Apologies, everybody. Got up. Come, come down with something. I didn't even know. Let's open this up here. I am rubber, you are glass, rags, gunny sacks, lead, nylon fiber, gears, electronic circuits, and etc, etc, etc. Plus, now I have all that stuff for headed over here, because who knows what strange things will be happening in the dust. R3 will open all cases. Well, that's good. My are giving you tests to fight the boredom. Hey, that looks like a supply case. Just sitting out here in nowhere land. That's uh, just how it goes. We all remember that place from last time. Now, I don't think I got an eye patch for whatever reason, so uh, we all ought to be able to see my. my super cool mask and tank and stuff. Piano keys? I don't know if we ever go to a different environment. I haven't played... I've, this is as far as I've played into the game. If it were the jungle, we were gonna die. It really is, Dan Zybar. Your oxygen will decrease while you're in the dust. Always keep an eye on your oxygen gauge. One other important point. While in the dust, your stamina consumption is greater than normal. So be careful of that as well. This is what he's pouring in the dust. The lights from base camp and wormhole transporters can be used as landmarks. But yeah, what they mean to say is you can't trust your map in here. That memory board is nearby. Go secure it. I'd say you're getting the hang of this routine. That darn memory board.
Yeah, stealth kill! Remember to come home when the street lights come on. Yeah, there you go. Certainly are a lot of guys just hanging out over there. Right, crouchy walks for some reason are a big issue. I mean, crouchy walking, I know. I, that can't be a walk in, that can't be a crouchy walk in the park. There are two ways to open a container. The easy way and the hard way. I'm carefully opening it so you don't alert nearby enemies. Or you can open it quickly, so any enemies that are within earshot will hear you. In other words, you can unlock it, or you can destroy it. There you go. Unlocking or destroying. Thanks, Tennille. <sighs> Open the container, move the bar carefully so it stays in the safe zone. A container opens when it reaches 100%. The bar goes out of the safe zone. Noises will be produced. You can also just open a container by attacking it, but this causes a lot of noise. So exercise caution. Well, if that didn't go as well as I could have hoped. You gonna come at me, bro? Oh, I can't pick that up right now. Yep, here I am. Come and get it. Sorry I interrupted your little roar there, buddy. I know you've been working on it. Thank you for using the drive through.
Still some guys that are just stuck on the side of the house, it looks like. Apparently, they're the reason I can't uh, progress any further, so. Guess I need to find them out. Oh, there were two of them stacked on top of each other. And I only sufficiently stabbed one of them. It's a little disappointing. Oh, I didn't realize there were any more of you guys back here. We go terrain. They can use stealth. Yep. I'm also here. I won't try collecting that last one. It went ouchy, 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 my foot. Yes, let's make sure we get this memory board. Only 30% oxygen, only 20% water. Which is part oxygen, so that should count, right? get to try this mini game again we do recipe for a gun now that don't have a lot of health left any chance that I can climb up this mountain? Not really. Some Cubone crystals, though. If I just stay on this side of you. Right. Hopefully my gasping does not startle him. Can I uh, collect your Cubone energy? There we go. There's another guy over here. Start along, stumbling along the other way. You're nearly out of oxygen. Supply yourself with oxygen by using Kuban energy. I mean, I guess.
Oh, he turned around the other way. Yeah, I figured you would notice that. It's fine, I'm just gonna do some rock climbing. Parkour! Now, having used up that Kuban energy, I'm pretty sure I'm just about to leave the dust now. Yes, you can conjure Kuban oxygen, but every time you do it, it's gonna get a little bit costlier and costlier. Yay. You are no longer in it. You are no longer on oxygen. <laughs> you now breathe carbon dioxide. Your oxygen supply will be replenished automatically when you return to base camp. Oh good, I was very worried. I need a Skyrim horse to climb those mountains, okay, let's yeah, or the Mako. I'm nearly dying of thirst here. But uh, I don't know that I have any fresh water. Time to make the donuts. Please do it. I know the light is going dim for you. Do it anyway. The Mako, we would be unstoppable. Captain, there is one item to report regarding the latest recovery. Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. <laughs> Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. Okay. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? Reeve just likes to say what's that all about sometimes. It's like he's trying to work on his stand-up routine, but he doesn't have it quite. He's like, what's the deal with that? What's that all about? But I can't have him, right? Yeah, what, what about what about him getting shot? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know, guys. It's, 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 what's happening with this guy? He got, he got shot. I, what's his deal? Uh, he. <laughs> Plus, I mean, he's suggesting he had to have been killed by a person. The logic he's using to get there is we haven't seen any wanderers using guns. We also haven't seen any people other than us. Why is it significantly more likely that there is a person with gun running around here killing people than there are wanderers who have figured out how to use guns? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here, that is an illogical thing to do. That's also true, Lethal. Shooting himself. He could have killed himself. He's surrounded by wanderers. He didn't want to become one. So... The point is, these incidents don't make sense. D if my theory is correct. I mean, what's the deal with my theory? I, I don't even understand. I've been working on it so hard. Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were going to say. I have this elaborate theory that uh, I'm now not going to share with you. What's the deal with that? Getting back to the report, Captain. Wait, I want to hear what Reeve has to say. <laughs> The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Uh, okay. 
Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology, which enable instant transportation between two distant points. It allows you to use instant transmission. It just has to have been a place that you know before. Two points. So we can use this thing to get home? Is that, is, is that something we could do? Uh... Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Yeah, Piano Keys, I, I don't blame you for not getting into this game. <laughs> this is something that uh, I picked up for Cheapsies. The gameplay of it appeared to be fun enough. The story of it is absolutely dreadful. Uh, the environment's a little bland, and uh, I, you know, thought it might be something I could pick up uh, and try out with JG uh, cooperatively at some point down the line. But right now, we're doing this. We gotta get there. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Oh, Lethal, I didn't get it on uh, PSN. Uh, Bean picked it up um, from Redbox for like less than 10 bucks. So we got a real, for realsies, disc and everything. Don't have the box, but does have a hard plastic case. It's like seven ninety nine, maybe. Are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. Despite the potential danger, there should be no limit to the things that you are willing to do for king and country. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To so much faster than the tutorial about them. I suggest you reactivate this one. And then she points to her crutch. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open on the map, on the map, on the map. Is. Do I have to? Activate one more transport of the area around it becomes an AI support area, enabling you to receive the same support you get at base camp. Neat. By reactivating wormhole transporters, you can register nearby landmarks on your map, such as paths and other points of interest. Yeah, Lethal, I don't think you can buy uh, every game from a red box. I think typically, you know, they'll buy enough uh, discs to keep up with demand for releases when they're new, and then they'll start to sell off some of the uh, things. Paths just on the map provide the same effects as discovered areas. Areas you have explored and recorded on your map are considered discovered, and you'll be able to see your location on the map even when inside the dust. In discovered areas, you can do th such things as place guide markers and stamps, among other things. Can I take any orders of, like, nearly dead from uh, dehydration? No. Okay. Hey, Reeve, the light's getting dark. Yeah, you can search them uh, on machines near you. We've got, uh, we had a selection of locations. Anyhow, since uh, she's almost dead from uh, water, and uh, I don't have any more clean water to give her, I'm thinking I might just call this a uh, play of this game. I might go back and check in on the, uh, might go back and check in on the Fallout shelter here in a second and see whether or not, uh, any of the quests that I was working on are done. 
I think I'm going to take a quick break to uh, make some tea for my throat. But uh, after that, I'm going to... Uh, Let's see here. No, 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 no. Where is the social? No, not social. Oh, you can see the uh, handle that won't let me change. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is this something I have to do from... Uh, yeah, this is, I have to save an exit from Virgil89. Amazing. Sun's getting real low, Reeve. Yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, price just changed in like the past week uh, on Metal Gear Survive because that's the reason we picked it up now. Like before, it was like 15 bucks. I'm like, eh. 15 bucks is about what I would have expected to pay at least initially for a used copy of... Uh, Metal Gear, not Phantom Pain, but, uh, are you going to get back to work here in a minute, Achilles? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and save an exit here, and, uh, when we go, uh, yeah, Ground Zeroes, that was the one. I was trying to think, it's like the difference between, this is a game that is a poorly actualized version of a developed gameplay engine, whereas uh, Ground Zeroes was like a little baby snippet preview of this advanced game engine, and then it turned out to just be a super short game um, with uh, not that much story to it. But 